Okay, setting up my screen. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class here. I hope everyone's fine, I'm fine. I'm here today at three o'clock. It's not my usual time because I had to work this morning and usually I have my live stream class on Saturday at 10 a.m. I live in Japan, so when I say 10 a.m., it's 10 a.m. in Japan. When I say 3 p.m., it's 3 p.m. in Japan, and I'm it's 3 p.m. now. Usually I'm at 10 a.m. live, but because I had to work this morning at my university, I can't, I couldn't be here at 10, of course, so I'm here now, and that's gonna be like that next week, too. So it's today, the 14th, 3 p.m., and next week, the 21st, 3 p.m. But then 28th, I'll be back at 10 a.m. All right, so we always have a toast for good luck. So let's do that. So whatever you're drinking, pick it up. I have coffee. It's in my orange tumbler. And we will have two toasts. Yes, two toasts. Our first toast will be to the green team. Yes, the members of the channel. They support me. They support the channel by supporting me and the channel. They are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. All right. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. There is Air Lady and Ava, part of the green team. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Hello, everyone. Okay, everyone's coming in now. That's great. I'm happy. Best great. <laughs> Best gamer is now green again. Cheers. Thanks for that. Best gamer. Tetsuro is in the house. Safe is in the house. Menglish is in the house. Okay, here's our second toast. It's for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Okay, hey, Trolley is here. All right, thank you everyone for coming at not our usual time. I'm sorry. One more time. I had to work this morning, so I'm here at three. Next week, it'll be the same thing. I have to work next Saturday too at, so next week will be 3 p.m. This time next week on Saturday, but then the 28th, we'll be back at 10 a.m. Mitra, hello Mitra. Okay, we're gonna do three worksheets today. We're going to review two and we have a new one. So we have these three worksheets and you can, I, they're on my webpage, my YouTube homepage. You go to my homepage and then you go to community tab and there you will see the worksheets. But don't worry, I will also put the worksheets right there on the screen so you will be able to see them easily. All right. So let's go ahead and do it. Today we'll be here for one hour. So let's go ahead and start. Let's review uh, this idiom in good faith. In good faith. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna post it on the screen and we can practice together, okay? So let me go ahead and put it on the board here. No, that's not the one. <laughs> no, that's not the one. Here it is. That's it right there in good faith. Okay, Samuel's here. Hello, Ella's here, good. Umesh is here, great. Thank you everyone for, thank you everyone for um, coming here today, showing up, being with me, I appreciate it. Okay, here we go. This is the idiom in good faith. That means to do something honestly to do something honestly. And these sentences are from the green team. And so we're gonna review their sentences and then you will do your own in the chat, okay? So let's look at Sonara's sentence. Sonara says, judges must exercise in good faith. That means the judges aren't exercising their body, they're exercising their job, okay? So of course, you can exercise your body 
right? You, um, you know, maybe you run, you jog, you walk, you do lifts, you lift weights. So you're exercising your body. Well, you can also um, exercise your job, right? So what do you have to do in your job? And so you do those things to complete your job. And so judges, right, they, they determine if you get in trouble, you have to go to court and there you'll see a judge and they have long black robes and they determine the penalty. They determine what will happen to you. So they must act in good faith. They must act honestly, right? Because they have a very, very important job because they could, um, they have lots of power. They have lots of power. So they, they must exercise or do their job in good faith, honestly, truthfully. Miley says, Mark always acts in good faith, even when he skips my sentences. So that's kind of a joke because last week I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to read Miley's sentence. I skipped it accidentally. So I was truthful. I was honest about it. And so she says, I, I'm always, I always act in good faith. So thank you, Miley. And then mine was, true friends always act in good faith, right? So if you, you know, if you have a good friend, you should always be honest with your good friend. And you want your good friend to be honest with you, right? So that's why you're a good friend, because you act in good faith to each other. All right, Marion says, Sue shops in good faith. Sue shops in good faith. So that can mean, you know, when you go shopping, you're using money. And you, we don't have an endless amount of money, right? <laughs> you have money in the bank. Maybe you have money in your, in your bag. You have money in your pocket. So you can't spend more than you have. So you need to be honest. You have to be truthful to yourself, right? Like where a credit card, you could spend a lot of money on a credit card even though you don't have the money. So you need to be truthful with yourself. You need to be, you need to act in good faith with yourself, especially when you go shopping, right? Don't, don't, don't spend money that you don't have. <laughs> okay, Lolly says, do politicians always act in good faith? Hmm, there's a question. So she put it in a question form. So Lolly put her, sentence in a question form and so that she's questioning the politicians right do politicians act in good faith hmm and so by doing that we are assuming that they don't right that's where the the connotation the feeling is negative right so right so maybe politicians aren't being truthful politicians aren't being honest with you right okay um, Ava says, my husband always acts in good faith. So that's very important. Ava's husband is truthful. He is honest. And so they have a, a strong marriage, right? So if you're, if your marriage or, you know, your partner or your close friend, if you're always truthful, always honest, you'll have a good relationship, right? So Ava is very lucky about that. Tomas says, I always act in good faith, so not to cause trouble later, right? So Tomas is saying, by being truthful, by being honest, you will not have trouble in the future, right? So if you have, if you're, if you tell someone the truth and then you're protected, right? If you tell a lie, it, it could come back in the future against you, right? So Always be honest, always be truthful, and you will have no problems in the future. So that's very smart, very wise of Thomas. Tomas, I mean, Tomas. Rita says, acting in good faith is, essential, is an essential quality of life. One more time. Acting in good faith is an essential quality for life. Right? So... If you act honestly, if you act truthfully, you that's a good quality quality to have in your life. So like a quality, your your um a quality is honesty, 
truthfulness, um, warm, kind, right? You're inside, right? Not outside, but inside your heart. And if, if you act in good faith, you will have a good life. So that is very true, Rita. And Julia says, I usually act in good faith for my clients. So clients are your customers. So if you have a business and your clients are your customers and you must, if you want a good business, if you want a strong business, if you want a business that will last a long time, you need to be honest. You need to be truthful with your clients or customers. That way they come back and they keep supporting you, right? And so you need to be honest, you need to be truthful so um, your customers, your, your clients will um, support you, support your business, right? It's very important. Okay, very good. All right, so we have our um, example sentences here. Now it's time for you in the chat to write sentences using in good faith. Okay, let's practice using in good faith. Deepa is here. All right, all right. Okay, let's practice. Here we go. Write your sentences, please. You can see the green team, their example sentences. Let's see your sentences. Okay, Samuel has a sentence. Christian Ronaldo, Ronaldo, sorry, Christian Ronaldo is is in good faith with his fans and people. Yeah. So Samuel saying that uh, Ronaldo is truthful with his fans and and um, acts honestly for his fans and they appreciate that. Umesh says, I always act in good faith with my relatives. Good. So relatives, the people in your family. So it, of course, you need to be um, honest and truthful with your family. Deepa says, be in good faith with everyone. Yes. So Deepa is saying, be honest, be truthful with everyone not just your family, not just with, you know, um, the close people, but be truthful with everyone. Best Gamer says, I always act in good faith with my teacher. <laughs> That's important as well. Mitra, father and mother acts in good faith with their children. That's very important, Mitra. Or actually, you, sh you should say mothers and fathers act. Okay, so Mitra, put an S after father, put an S after mother, and take away the S from act. So it should be fathers and mothers act in good faith with their children. Okay, um, X-R-E-A. You must act in good faith with people. I agree. I agree. Umesh. To be in good faith needs courage. That is true because if, if, if you do something that's embarrassing, you should still tell the truth, right? Even if you do something wrong, tell the truth. And telling the truth takes courage. That's right, Umesh. Nice sentence. Deepa, okay, that's a question. I want to see a question mark. Do you work in good faith? Question mark. Air Lady says, I am always in good faith with in general. Okay, in general. So, okay, Air Lady, we don't need with. Okay, I am always in good faith in general. I am always in good faith in general. So, take away the with. Hello, Amina. Deepa, be in good faith with money transactions. Yes, for sure. So, Deepa, you want to ask there, transactions. You're welcome, Mitra. Eva, I am always, okay, I always act. So I am, not am, 
I always act in good faith for our for my customers. But yesterday I did it. I caught a thief in our shop. Whoa. That's scary. So the thief was not acting in good faith. The thief was not acting in good faith. That's scary. Ella, he got an A for his test in good faith. Okay, good, Ella. So he got an A. You want a little A in there. N A. Tetsuro, being in good faith leads to good relationships. Good, Tetsuro. Okay, great, Air Lady. Deepa, always do your work in good faith. Yes, for sure. Tetsuro, my teacher always advises me to act in good faith for your life. Or for my life, okay, Tetsuro? My teacher always advises, put an S at the end of vice, always advises me to act in good faith for my life. Okay, no problem, Air Lady. Deepa, be in good faith with money transactions. Yes. Okay, Umesh. Gandhi. All right. Gandhi acted in good faith with people of India. Yes. Oh, okay. But, you know, actually, Deepa, you don't need your. You can just say, I, that, that's fine, your sentence, be in good faith with money transactions. That, that's fine. You don't need the or, or your, you don't need your. Okay, good, Air Lady, I am always in good faith in general. Perfect. Ha, <laughs> best gamer. YouTubers always act in good faith. Yes, Ella, N-A. Good, Ella. So, he got N-A for his test in good faith. Mitra, politician, or... Politicians should act in good faith with people. Yes. So, Maitre, you, you want to put an S, plural, because there are many politicians. So, politicians should. Tetsuro, my teacher always advised me to act in good faith for my life. Very good. Okay, you know, I'm looking at the clock, and this was just a review, all right? And we, we did a lot. We, were, we did it longer yesterday, so um, you can look at our live stream yesterday and if you want more practice but we got to change activities because we're only here for one hour today so let's go to our next worksheet okay and this is a new one it's not a review this is this is a review yeah we did it yesterday and so we're reviewing it for practice and great sentences everyone as always Mary Poppins, hello, Mary. Okay, so let's go to our next activity, our next worksheet. And of course, um, you could get the worksheets on my um, webpage, or I should say homepage, my YouTube homepage. Go to communities. There's these tabs, and the tabs say home, videos, playlists, community, right there. And hit the community, and you will see these worksheets. Okay, here's our new worksheet. Also, in the in the chat, you must be a subscriber. Okay, because um, I don't want bots here. We don't want bots. We don't want spamming. So by only having subscribers, we make a better chat. We have a safe chat for us to practice English. So if you want to join us in the chat, if you want to practice with us in the chat, please subscribe to my channel and you can get into the chat. I, I make people subscribe by doing that. It keeps the bots out, it keeps the spamming out, and it gives us a safe and um, nice place to practice our English. Okay, let's look at the new... Okay, this is new. I just made it this week. Okay, so our topic is ongoing activities. So ongoing meaning continuing, okay? So continuing this action, right? So by doing something, it, it, you don't do it like that. It takes, you do it over time, right? It could be an hour. It could be all day, right? So it's an ongoing action. Okay, so that's what we're going to practice. 
Yeah, Air Lady, I, just right now, like at the university, I have to do these Saturday classes, but there's a total of like eight. So I have to do a couple in May, a couple in June, a couple in July. So basically May, June, July, but not every week, not every week. Okay, here we go. Here is an example at the top here. And here, let me point so you can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point it to you so you know what I'm talking about here. Okay, so right, right here at the top is an example. Right here. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna look over the example. Okay. A B A B. Are you busy? Yes, I am. I'm studying. What are you studying? I'm studying English. So ongoing activity. So we use an ing because I'm doing it. I'm continuing it. Right? Ongoing. I am walking. I am writing. So. We're using ing, the progressive tense. Continuing, ongoing. Are you busy? Yes, I am. I'm studying. Or, are you busy? Yes, I am. I'm studying. What are you studying? I'm studying English. Okay, now here, one. Can you see one right here? And it says, is Alan busy? There's the question. Is Alan busy? And then we have some key words. And it says, Baking and muffins. Baking and muffins. Yeah? So, Alan is his name. So, we make the question, is Alan busy? That's the question, A. Is Alan busy? Right? There's the question. It's on top of the Right there, number one, and you could, in the green box, is Alan busy? And we have an oven and a muffin. <laughs> we have an oven and muffin, and our keywords, baking and muffins. That's our keyword, baking and muffin. So, A, is Alan busy? B, yes, yes, he is, yes, comma, he is, period. A, or um, yes, he is, he is baking. I'm sorry, so let's continue. He is baking. Okay, is Alan busy? Yes, he is, he is baking, right? Continuing, he's, he's baking, right? And then we have a question, is Alan busy? The answer, Yes, he is. He is baking. We're going to have another question. What is he baking? What is he baking? Okay, so we have a, another question. What is he baking? And you can see right there, muffins. Okay, there's our hint. Muffin. We also have our keyword there, muffins. So, what is he baking? What? What? And then the answer, he is, he is baking muffins. Okay, that's what he's doing. Doing, so these are all INGs. He's baking. Um, he's baking, baking. <laughs> Okay, good, good, good. All right, so that is how we do it. So let's go to, let's go to number two. Please write this sentence. There's actually four, okay? Can you do four? Two questions, two answers. Two questions, two answers. So the question, is Doris busy? Keywords, reading the newspaper. Oh, Ava likes baking muffins. Good. Oh, BM, I'm from Los Angeles, but I live in Japan. Okay, question. Why do 
why do you use the present continuous? Because it's an ongoing activity. You can see up, up there, you see the number one, and then the title is ongoing activity. So it's ongoing, it's continuing. So the continuous form is ing, and what are you? He, you know, is Ambas? Yes, he is baking, right? He's doing it. He's continuing it, right? Because it, you know, yeah, it takes time. It takes time to bake muffins. Okay. Is Doris busy? Okay. Is Doris busy? Okay. Doris is a woman. Okay. Good. That's really yes. Okay, yes, she is. She is reading. All right, so look at the, okay, yes, she is, period. She is reading. Okay, good. So is Doris busy? Yes, she is. She is reading the newspaper. Or what is she reading? I'm sorry. Okay, I, I'm. Okay, is Doris busy? Yes, she is. She is reading. What is she reading? She's reading the newspaper. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, Air Lady. This is a bad time for you. Okay, Air Lady, good night. Mwah. Good night, Air Lady. I'm in Japan, BM. I'm in Japan. Okay. Now right here, write the conversation, see? So, so here's our examples. And here in the second part is for you to write your, or to write the conversation. So we're here on the top is your guide, right? Right here, this is your guide. Okay, so I want you to follow this pattern. Okay, so A, is Doris busy? B, yes, she is. She is reading. A, what is she reading? B, she's reading the newspaper. Okay, so that's, I want you to use this pattern, this guide. So number three, are your parents busy, right? Number three, there's the question. A should be, is your, or <laughs> A should be, are your parents busy? And then B, yes, they are. They are painting. A, what are they painting? B. They are painting the kitchen. So I want to see A, B, A, B. Can you do that? A, B, A, B. A, are your parents busy? B, yes, they are. They are painting. A, what are they painting? B, they are painting the kitchen. Right, so I want you to do all in one, all in the chat, in one go. So I'm going to do an example here. A, are your parents busy? Okay, I'm going to, whoops, question mark. A couple spaces, I'm going to write B, yes, comma, they are. They are painting. P 
period. A semi or A colon what are they painting? B colon they are painting the kitchen. Okay, so right there is my example. So I want you, I want to see that. Okay, are your parents busy? Yes, they are. They are painting. A, what are they painting? B, they are painting the kitchen. Okay, good, Mary. Mary, good. Okay, Umesh, is Dora, or actually Doris, her name's Doris. Is Doris busy? Yes, she is. She is reading, or yes, she is. She is reading. What is she reading? She is reading the newspaper. Good. So we'll go slow. Okay, so I want I want you to put it all in one one text. Okay, Ella. Okay, okay, so four. Okay, move on to four. Are you busy? Yes, I am. I am writing. Good, good. A. What are you writing? B, I'm writing a letter. Perfect. Good, Ella. I want to see that, everyone. Okay, so we got nine here. We got nine. So we'll go here. I'm going to bring it down a little bit just so the, the example is still there before we go, before we do seven, eight, nine. Okay, we got people, we got some people going fast here. Mary, what about, um, did you do you? I think, Mary, you skipped number four. And, and five, Mary, you skipped a few. Okay, now, okay, Tetsuro, um, Tetsuro, okay, please start at the beginning, like, for example, five, are you and Tom busy? Start, start at the beginning, please. It's easier for me to, to read. Okay, Deepa, are you busy? Yes, I am. I am writing. What are you writing? I am writing a letter. Yeah. Okay, Umesh, are your parents busy? Yes, they are. What are they? Okay, are your parents? Yes, they are. Okay, Umesh, you skipped. Okay, so um, are your parents busy? Yes, they are. They are painting. What are they painting? They are painting the kitchen. So everyone be careful, okay? Go slow. Okay, everyone, go slow and, and, you know, be careful and write the whole conversation out, okay? So go slow. We got time. Okay, best gamer, are you busy? Yes, I am. I'm okay everyone look at the look at the example right there everyone please there is right here please okay are you busy there's the example yes I am is she busy yes she is are they busy yes they are are you and Tom busy yes we are all right so be don't don't skip that's very important and then right yes I am 
I'm studying. Yes, I am. I'm writing. Yes, she is. She is. Okay. So go take your time. Go slow and, and be careful. Look, look at, the, at the example there, the structure, the pattern. Okay, yeah, Mary, we're just, Mary, let's go in order. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's, let's do it in order, okay? Let's, let's do it in order. Okay. Are you busy? Yes, I am. What are you doing? I'm watching English class. Good. Okay, Ella, five. Are you and Tom busy? Yes, we are. We are cooking. What are you cooking? Okay, Tom and I are cooking dinner. That works. Good, Ella. Yeah, that works fine. Mary, are you busy? Yes, I am. Okay, Ella, you didn't, or Mary, you didn't follow the, the pattern. Mary, are you busy? Yes, I am. I am writing. Okay, yes I am, I'm writing. So be careful, look at, see right here? Okay, yes he is, he is baking. Yes I am, I am, y yes, so, where, where is this, this way, right? So everyone, I see a lot of people not, so, ugh, yes he, is he he's yes she is she's yes they are they are okay yes we are we are Oops. Okay, so I, I want to see the separation. Okay? <laughs> I want to see that in your, you know, in the chat there. I want to see that. Okay. Best gamer. Are you and Tom busy? Busy. Okay, I don't. See, okay, best gamer. I want to. See, I want to see that. Come on, come on, everyone. Don't skip. Deepa five. Are you and Tom busy? Yes, we are. We are cooking. Good. What are you and Tom cooking? We are cooking dinner. Me and Tom are cooking now. Okay. When you're talking about okay, me and Tom it should be Tom and me. So when when you're, you add another person, put yourself last, okay? Put the other person in front, all right? So, are you and Tom? Yes, Tom and I, Tom and I, Tom and me, okay? So, so, so you wanna put yourself last, not first. Don't put yourself first, put yourself last. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Zyra, are you and Tom busy? Yes, we, yes, we are. Okay. Okay, you didn't do it right. Ava, is Anna busy? Okay, is Anna busy? Yes, she is. She's sewing. What is she sewing? She is sewing a sweater. Good, good, Ava. Okay, Mary, are you and Tom busy? Yes, we are. We are cooking. What are you cooking? We are cooking dinner. Good. Trolley, is, is Anne busy? Yes, she is. She is sewing. What is she sewing? She's sewing a sweater. Good. Okay, um, Riz, Rizwan, are you busy? Yes, I am. What are you doing? I'm cutting the cantaloupe. Okay, 
Best gamer, is Anne busy? Yes, she is. Come on, come on, best gamer. You're, you're, not, you're not following this. Okay, is Anne busy? Yes, she is. She is, she's, okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, let's see, Ella. Is Anne busy? Yes, she is. She is sewing. What is she sewing? She's sewing a sweater. Umesh, are you and Tom busy? Question mark. Okay, come on, come on, you guys. I need, I need punctuation, okay? Because if you don't do it, it's hard for me to read, okay? So put in the question mark. Put in the period. If you don't do that, it's difficult for me to read your sentence, okay? Because then it's all just together and it's hard for me to read so I need you please if it's a question put the question mark at the end of the sentence put the period right after one idea put this period okay otherwise it's difficult difficult for me to read your sentence because I'm going uh, right I need I need those stops and I need the punctuation so I can read it Okay, Deepa, is Anne busy? Yes, she is. She is sewing. What is she sewing? She's sewing a sweater. Good. Okay. Let's see. Tetsuro, is Anne busy? Yes, she is. She is sewing. What is she sewing? She is sewing a sweater. Thank you, Tetsuro. I can read that. See? Ava. <laughs> okay, Ava. Bye-bye. Have fun at church. Okay. Mitra, is she busy? Yes, she is. She is cooking. What is she cooking? She is cooking dinner. All right. Mary, is your brother busy? Are we on brother? Okay. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Okay. There we go. There's one to nine. Okay. Yep. There we go. There they are. All nine. Okay, Mary, seven. Is your brother busy? Yes, he is. He is ironing. What is he ironing? He is ironing his shirts. Good. Umesh, is, is Anne busy? Yes, she is. Period, Umesh. Yes, she is, period. So because there's no period, Umesh, it's hard for, see, yes, and there's no comma after the yes. She is, there's no period after is. And then she, you need a, a capital, an uppercase letter, right? Come on, you guys. So we have, beginning of the sentence, we have a, a, a capital letter. And then name, right? Capital. And then we have a question mark. Is Alan busy? Yes, there's an uppercase. Comma, he is, period. He, uppercase, is baking, period. What, uppercase, is he baking, question mark. He, uppercase, is baking muffins, period, okay? If you don't do that, it's hard for me to read. Okay, let's see. Are you busy? Yes, I'm busy. What are you doing? I'm cooking. What are you cooking? I'm cooking fruit. Ella, is Anne busy? Yes. Yes, Anne is. Can we say, yeah, yep, yeah. We can do that, Ella, yep. So she is a pronoun, right? So, or he, right, pronoun. So yes, Alan is. Is Alan busy? Yes, Alan is. Alan is baking. What is Alan baking? Alan is baking muffins. We can do that for sure. Yeah. So those are just pronouns. So he represents Alan. So the, the pronoun represents the, the name, the, the actual noun, the proper noun. Okay. OK, 
Okay, number seven. Deepa, is your brother busy? Yes, he is. He is ironing. What is he ironing? He is ironing his shirts. Good, Deepa, thank you. See, I can read. It's much easier for me to read then, right? That's what punctuation does. It's, but, so that's, that's, that's the purpose of the punctuation. That's the purpose. So the reader can understand easily and be able to read. If it's all just smashed together without punctuation, it's hard to read. It's hard to understand. So that's the purpose of the punctuation. It's for the people read. For yourself, right? It's not important for yourself because you know it, right? You're just thinking and you know it. So it's not for you. It's for the person reading. Okay, so when you're writing something, it's not for yourself. It's for the person who will read what you are writing. Okay, so that's why the punctuation is important, not for you, but for the person reading. So right now, I'm reading your sentences. If you don't put in the punctuation, it's difficult for me to read your sentence. Okay. Let's see, okay. Okay, number eight. There's, okay, Tetsuo has number eight. Are Mr. and Mrs. Smith busy? Yes, they are. They are cleaning. What are they cleaning? They're cleaning their garage. Yes. Very easy for me to see. Very easy for me to read. Trolley, is your brother busy? Yes, he is. He's ironing. What is he ironing? He is ironing his t-shirt. Okay, I can, I can read that very easily. Number eight, Mary, are Mr. and Mrs. Smith busy? Yes, they are. Okay, you didn't, Mary, you didn't follow it. Okay, you didn't, one more time, number eight, Mary. Do it one more time. Okay, deep, okay, Umesh, is Anne busy? Yes, she is. She is sewing. What is she sewing? She is sewing a sweater. Nice. Okay, Deepa, are Mr. and Mrs. Smith busy? Yes, they are. They are cleaning. What are they, what are Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Okay, you got the R in the wrong place, Deepa. What are Mr. and Mrs. Smith cleaning? They are cleaning their garage. Tetsuro, is Beethoven busy? Yes, he is. He is, com okay, you, you didn't, Tetsuro, one more time. Okay, so, is Beethoven busy? Yes, he is. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, yeah, no, okay. Hold on, hold on. Tetsuro, my mistake, sorry. Is Beethoven busy? Yes, he is. He is composing. What is he composing? He is composing a symphony. Yes. Okay, uh, Zyra, is your brother busy? Yes, he is. Okay, yes. Okay, you don't need busy there, okay? Yes, he is, period. He is ironing. What is he ironing? Ironing, he is ironing his shirts. Okay, Deepa, is Beethoven busy? Yes, he is. He is composing. What is he composing? He is composing a symphony. Mitra, <laughs> he is. <laughs> okay, Mary, is Beethoven busy? Yes, he is. He is composing. What is he composing? He is composing a symphony. Amanda, is Anne busy? Yes, she is. She is sewing right now. Okay, Umesh, is your brother busy? Yes, he is. He is ironing. What is he ironing? He is ironing his shirts. Okay, Trolli, is Beethoven busy? Yes, he is. He is composing. What is he composing? He is composing a symphony. Deepa, what are they cleaning? Or what are Mr. and Mrs. 
Smith clean. Okay, so you need to, you, you have to introduce the people, okay? So if, if you don't use the person's name at the beginning, I don't know who he is. So, so here we have Alan first. So, so we know we are talking about Alan, okay? So we know it's Alan. After that, we can go he, 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 okay? You have to, at the beginning, you have to tell us who they are. So for example, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. We need to know that name, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. After that, we can say they, okay? But you have to start with their name. That way we know who we are talking about. Okay, good. Oh no, Harry, you are super late. <laughs> Harry, you're super, super late. We are, well, we're, we're going to be finishing pretty soon. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, and so here the, it continue, right? So you can, you can, you can get the paper, the, the worksheet. Actually, you can get it uh, on my YouTube homepage. Go to community and it's there. You can, Patreon, you can support me on Patreon and, and many, many, many worksheets are there. So um, this is for, today we, you know, we did it in the chat, right? You were writing these sentences in the chat, but if you wanna do it on paper, you can go to my um, homepage, my um, YouTube homepage, my YouTube channels homepage, Go to community, and you will see the worksheet posted there. You could just, um, it's, a, it's a JPEG, so you can just move it from my homepage onto your desktop, and you could print it out. Okay. So let's, we got about 10 minutes. I want to review one more worksheet that we did yesterday, okay? So good job, everyone. You can um, you can get this right there. Like I said, I'll just leave. I'm going to leave this here for a little bit. Okay, it's going to just sit there. Okay. Now we're going to review yesterday's. Uh, which one is different? All right. Which one is different? Again, you can get it there. Right on my. YouTube homepage, also my Patreon, okay? So right there, and I will post it right up there so we can see it easily. Okay, that's personal. Okay, so maybe, you know, if, if this is your first time, there's four items, you can see there's four items right there. One, two, three, four, and then which one is different, all right? So for example, if I say red, blue, bicycle, pink, red, blue, bicycle, pink, bicycle is different because it's transportation. The other three are colors, right? So that's how we do it. And you have to say why, that's the, that's the challenge. The, your reason why you think it's different, okay? And there's no wrong answer, right? You, it's your imagination. Oh, I have to take this down. Okay. Um, okay, there we go. Now make this full screen. Okay. So here we go. Group one, group one keywords. Alcohol, relationship, medication, Drugs. Which one is different? Okay, and personal, right? That's personal. So maybe, you know, you don't want other people to know that you drink alcohol. Maybe, you know, some people don't care, some people care. So it's personal for you. Relationship. That's your, 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 interacting, your interaction with people. Maybe it could be your family. It could be friends, right? People together. Your, your, 
the people you talk to, the people you work with, the people in your family. That's your relationship with your relationship with people, how you how you treat people, how you interact with people. Medication. That is from your doctor. If you if something you know is wrong with your body, you go to the doctor and the doctor gives you medication to fix your whatever is happening. And then drugs is not from the doctor. That could be maybe illegal, so that could be, you know, marijuana or cocaine, heroin, right? So those are drugs. So maybe people want to keep that secret. People want to keep their what their medication secret, maybe, you know, it's personal. So we have alcohol, relationship, medication, drugs. Which one is different and why? So which one? Why is very important. That's how we do this activity. Okay. Okay. Trolley says, I think drugs because it really hurts. Yeah. So maybe it doesn't help, but it really hurts. Good. Good. Trolley. Uma says, I think alcohol because it, it, it's, it injures to our, to your, it's, it's dangerous. That's better to say, Umesh, dangerous. So I think alcohol because it is dangerous to your health. Okay, um, go, Govindu, or G O V I N D U, relationship, why? So I want you to tell me why you think relationship is different than the other three. Okay, Mitra, alcohol because it is not good for health, right? For people's health. How about that? Alcohol, because it's not good for people's health. Okay, Deepa, relationship, because it is not toxic. Okay, good. It can be toxic. Some, some relationships can be toxic, you know, like, and not literally toxic, but, you know, uh, figuratively, like, you know, fighting and yelling and Right? Some people have toxic relationships. They're always arguing. They're always mad at each other. Samuel, relationship is different because it is related to our communication with others. Samuel, I like it. Nice one. Mitra, medication because it's not for kids, just for adults. Okay. Well, I don't know. Medication, that's from the doctor. So medication, you know, kids get, you know, kids have to go to the doctor and they get medication. How about alcohol or drugs? You know, drugs are not for alcohol, maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, Harry says, I think relationship is different because it is an, it is imaginary. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't. See. Okay, Harry. You, I didn't see the bottom. Okay, let me, let me see your whole. Sorry, Harry. I didn't see everything. I think relationship is different because it is an imaginary word. We can't see it, while we can see alcohol, medication, and drugs. Yeah. So relationship is. I wouldn't say imaginary, but it's a. It's relationship is. Um, What's the word? It, it's figurative, right? Or it's, you can't see it, you can't touch it. it, it it's, um, oh, I, I can't believe I'm forgetting that word. It's, um, it, it's not, oh, I, I'm, I'm blanking out. Like, like, for example, this, this tumbler, I can see it, I can hold it. It is, it's concrete, it's real, right? It's concrete. But a relationship is an idea, and so we can't touch it, we can't see it, it's an idea. And so, yeah, Harry, there's a word for that. Uh, it's, it's, it is escaping my mind. I can't think of that word, but it's an idea. Okay. 
Okay, Umesh, I think drugs because it's illegal to take it. Yep, good, good, Umesh. Trolley, I think medication because when my body is... Okay, Trolley, I need you to finish that sentence. So I think medication because it's for when I'm sick. How about that? So it's medication because it's for when I am sick. Mary, I think relationship because it is not a thing that we can touch. Yeah, it's an idea. It's a concept. Tetsuro. I think relationship because we can't take it in our bodies. Yeah. Deepa. I meant toxic because alcohol and Right. Yeah, or toxic, but relationship is not. Yep. Uh, that's right. I know Deepa. I said, so um, figuratively, right? So we can, we can use toxic two ways. Two ways. So literally toxic, right? So you drink too much alcohol and you feel drunk, right? You, you take drugs and you feel drugged, right? You take medication and, you know, too much and it can make you, so toxic is toxic, toxicity, where, you know, it's too much. It's too much. Toxic. It's too much. It's bad and too much. But a relationship isn't actually like literally toxic, it's figuratively. Oh, that's it, figuratively. So that's why I went about relationship is figuratively, right? It's an idea. So um, we can use toxic in the same way, uh, figuratively. Like we can use that, take that same word and use it for an idea, right? Oh, they have a toxic relationship, meaning they're always fighting. They're they're always yelling at each other. They're not friendly. They're, they're angry with each other. So we can call that a toxic relationship. But I know what you meant because drugs are, are actually toxic. But a relationship, a bad relationship is toxic in a figurative way, in an ideal, in an idea way, just thinking. Okay, yeah, no problem, Harry. Yeah, actual. Okay, Mary, I think alcohol because it's not good for my health. Good, that's right. I think relationship because it is useful to stay fit, but when other is taken too much, then they are harmful to you. Relationship because it's related to physical aspects. Good. Yeah, physical aspects. Good. So, yeah, so... That's interesting. So G O V I D G G O V I N D U. So very phys physical or no no psychological, sorry, psychological. Where you know like love is psychological, right? You 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 know maybe you found a new girlfriend or new boyfriend and you you're in a relationship, right? So you're something special between you and you know it, it's in your mind your heart it, it's psychological you're in love or you know maybe you know that we say you know uh, new love right so <laughs> when you meet someone for the first time there's that special feeling and then the longer you're together maybe that special feeling kind of goes down so that's all psychological very good i like it okay let's go to our second group. Group two, keywords, to be in love, depression, fears, medical history. So, okay, to be in love, right? That's, you know, you, you, you have that feeling, that psych psychological feeling, you know, oh, this, you get, you know, you get sweaty hands and makes you, your makes you feel you know, you have that feeling of like, oh, it's, I'm in love. I have that feeling, right? And depression, that is a, a great sadness, right? Depression, for some people, they can't leave their house. They can't work. They want to just sleep. And they, they're more than sad. It's like deep, deep sadness. And then fears, Right? Some people, you know, we all have fears. Some people fear the water, right? Like 
going into the ocean or a swimming pool. You know, people have fear of swim or water. Some people have fear of spiders and bugs and th snakes, right? Some people have fear of high places, right? So, you know, many people have different kinds of fears. And medical history, like what happened to you in the past, maybe, you know, you, you had an operation or you had a heart, something, you know, what is your, your medical history? In the past, what, what, what has happened to your body, right? Did you have to go to the hospital? Did the doctors cut you open? Did you break a bone, right? So those, that your medical history. And so those things are kind of personal, right? So that's group two keywords, to be in love, depression, fears, medical history. Which one is different and why? Oh, Umesh, relationship because it has no side effects like others. Okay, I like it. Okay, Deepa. Okay, good. Drugs because it spoils one's life badly. Good, Deepa. Okay, Charlie, I think drugs because when I was young, I used them. Okay, group two, Mitra. Depression, because we can't enjoy things like before. Very good, Mitra. That's a very good sentence. Depression, because you can't enjoy things like before. I like it. That's a great sentence. Tetsuro, I think to be in love, because it's a positive one. Yeah, good, Tetsuro. Love is very positive, right? It's a great, great feeling to be in love. It's the best, right? That is, love is the best drug. <laughs> love is the best drug. It's good to be in love. Okay, ooh, mesh. To be in love is a good thing and is positive. Yes. So we just went a good thing. Love is a good thing. Troublemaker. How are ya? Oh, okay. I don't. I think B because it's. Okay, you're talking about. Is that relationship there, Troublemaker? I'm not sure which one, which B you're talking about. Relationship or depression? Okay, Mary, I think, it, I think it's to be in love because it's a verb. The others are nouns. Good, 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 Mary. Samuel, depression is different because it is a mental illness. Very good. Tetsuro, I think medical history because others are related to psychological sites. Yes. Okay, deep uh, fall in love, fear, depression, hospitalized. It goes in a negative way. Ah, oh. no. <laughs> oh, interesting. I see. Oh, I didn't even think about, yeah, that's interesting. I didn't even think about that. Or I didn't, I didn't, wow. You're in love and then something happens, you get depressed and then you fear and then you go to the hospital. <laughs> oh boy, that's a negative slide. That's sliding down. Let's don't slide down. No, let's go up. Let's don't slide down. Let's go up. Let's not slide down maybe love can bring us out of depression yeah so so if you're if you're depressed you find someone fall in love and that will you know get you out of the depression 
Okay, Umesh, I think to be in love is different because others need treatment from doctors. Very good. Mitra fears because this is a sign of infection in the body. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> All right, Deepa. Okay, um, we, five more minutes, okay, everyone? So um, five, five minutes, and then I have, to, I have to go in five minutes. So please um, write your sentences in the next five minutes. So 4.15. So we will finish today at 4.15 Japan time. So five more minutes. So please write your sentences. Deepa, love because it may it gives us energy to grow up in life. Yeah, for sure. Love can can give us energy, motivation. Yeah, love is a good thing. Love has many benefits, yes. It can help us at work, it can help us in life, right? In many, many ways. Love can give us positive attitude, give us, you know, um, motivation, give us energy, give us hope. Love can give us many things. Umesh, okay, I think fears, because they are, oh, there are many types of fears. That's right, Umesh, there's, Fear, there's um, fear of heights, fear of flying, fear of water, fear of, um, of, of uh, you know, people have a fear of dogs, people have a fear of, of bugs, people have a fear of um, like reptiles, snakes, and, and, and people have a fear of Mice and rats, many, many fears, yeah. People, like, I, I don't have a fear, but I don't like elevators. So I choose stairs. If I have an option, I take the stairs. I don't enjoy being in an elevator. I don't like it. I don't have any fears that stop me from doing anything but there's things i don't like for sure okay i think alcohol because it's bad for our health yes for sure okay mary i think medical history because it's not a human emotion good 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 mary that's right. I think medical history because it is not related to feelings. Good. Yeah. Lots of lots of ways to look at these, right? Lot you guys are being very creative using your imagination very well. And I think that's important using our imagination thinking about things. Deep like you can say we're we're thinking deeply about these things, right? We're we're taking our time, we're going slowly, and we are thinking deeper about these things and, and getting many good ideas, getting many, many different ways to look at these things. And I think by thinking and using our imagination, we're, we're, learning, um, we're, we're learning deeper, right? Our, the, your, your, your brain will remember this more, right? And it's not superficial, it's not artificial, it's meaningful. So these, this topic is very meaningful and I, I think it's um, good for us to think about these things for our own life, right? Deepa, depression because it is getting increased lately due to stressful life and work pressure, yeah, so for sure, Deepa. So um, the, the COVID-19, right, pandemic, many people, 
their life has changed, right? Or maybe, you know, someone close to them has died. And so, of course, you know, it can, you know, when you lose someone, it can cause depression. So I think because of the COVID-19, many, many people are feeling depression. Many people are feeling fear. And maybe people are drinking too much alcohol. Maybe people are taking drugs because of, of this COVID-19. And people are not falling in love, right? So it's very important that we fall in love, right? It's very important that we love. But to love, we have to, you know, talk with people and see people face to face and go out. If, you're, if you don't go out and you don't talk with people and touch people, you're not going to fall in love. And then, you know, then you can be depressed. Then you might drink too much alcohol. Maybe you might take drugs, right? Maybe you start fearing things. Maybe you fear people, right? That's terrible, right? Don't, don't fear. Like, I think many people are like fearing going to, you know, public places. People are fearing to go to a restaurant. People are fearing to go to a shopping center, right? So we're fearing to go out to the park and, and be with people. So that, that's very bad. Ella, Mark, have you ever been stuck in an elevator? No, and that would, be, that would be terrible for me, Ella. That would be, that, no, I have never been stuck in an elevator, and I would not like it one bit. Okay, much medical history because by seeing um, the future problems on our body are solved. Let me see. Umesh, medical history because by seeing future problems, we can solve. We can solve. Okay, uh, I know what you're saying, Umesh. I know. I know what you're saying. Just we got to change. Put it in a different. We have to use different words here. Um, medical history because by seeing. By seeing, our, by seeing the past, we can help for the future. How about that? Medical history, because by seeing the past, we can fix the future. By seeing the past, we can fix the future. Hey, Shams. <laughs> We're almost done. We are done, Shams. You are super late. Okay, I think fears because there are a lot of types of fears. Fears because it stops people from enjoying their life. Yes, for sure. Okay, I have to, whoops, whoops. I have to go. Okay. <laughs> this was really good, everyone. I, 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 I thought today we had really good, um, you know, the chat was fantastic today. I think the topics were good today. I thought your sentences were great. Um, this yesterday was good. Today was good, right? That the the topic, these you know, uh, personal, you know, they're 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 kind of heavy, right? They're personal and and you know they could create lots of emotions, right? And lots of ideas, and so very powerful and also we did um you know we did ongoing ongoing activities right and you guys made the sentences here and then we we did the idiom um then we did this idiom in good faith and so today with there's lots of like today was good topics yeah and so great job, everyone. I had a good time, and I hope you did too. And remember, you can get these worksheets on my homepage, yeah, my YouTube homepage community. And if you want to um, print these out and have more practice, please do it. Also, I have a Patreon page where lots and lots of worksheets support me there. Also, I have a web page, or I should say a homepage, a website, a website. MarkKulik.com, download worksheets and flashcards that go with my videos. 
books, everything's in the, the, the links are in the descriptions below. I have a Facebook group, Facebook uh, or um, English conversation practice, Mark with Mark Kulik English or Mark Kulik English speaking practice, something like that. But it's my, um, my Facebook group page and the link is down there too. And I will be back on Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday, May 17th. May 17th, 5 p.m. Japan time. 5 p.m. Japan time on Tuesday. Um, next Saturday, this time too. Uh, so 3 p.m. this time next Saturday. Okay, that's the 21st, 3 p.m. I'll be back at this time for more worksheets, okay? And so please have a great weekend. It's Saturday here in Japan. Have a great weekend where you are. Uh, love and peace. Mwah. Stay, stay healthy. Yeah. Find love. <laughs> Don't fear people. Go out and, you know, find someone. Talk to someone. Smile. Be happy. It's good for your health, right? Smile is the best medicine, right? We have, we talked about medication and drugs, but the best drug, the best medication is a smile. <laughs> smile and you will be happy. You will not be depressed. And um, let's love each other. Let's have love and peace. Yeah, love and peace. Okay, I will see you on Tuesday. Thank you so much for being here. And um, let's count down to saying goodbye. Let's count down. Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you so much. I will see you on Tuesday, okay? Oh no, let's see, oh no, let me get this. Okay, here we go, one more time. My, my screen was a little messed up. Okay, here we go, for sure, for real. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thanks so much, take it easy, bye.